Mangatit mga kuya, welcome back to Puto Mendoza in Canada. So, ang dami ko pong napapanood na YouTube videos and even Facebook posts. Sinasabi nila, huwag kang mangutang. You know, hindi ka asenso. Problema yung utang, demonyo yan. Layuan nyo yan. Alam nyo guys, I want to share my take when it comes to utang overall. Okay? So, paano ba natin nung to? So, sa mga viewers natin dyan, huwag nyo akong... Uh, Huwag kayong magalit sa akin, okay? Sa sasabihin ko. Ito lang sa personal experience ko lang po ito. Okay? Yung utang ko, hindi po masama yan. Okay? Kung tutuusin, kailangan po natin ng utang para umasenso. Okay? Dahil, uh, alam ko po, pag lumalaki tayo, sinabi po sa atin ng mga magulang natin, Okay, maghanap ka ng trabaho, tapos uh, mag-ipon ka. Mag-ipon ka na mag-ipon hanggang lumaki yan para, you know, when a rainy day comes, ayos ka. Wala kang problema, di ba? Pero, totoo po ba yan? Does it still apply ngayon sa sa, sa climate na to? Uh, take ko po, it's a little bit different. Okay? Sa akin po, Kailangan po talaga ng utang. Importante, importante po yung utang. Pero, depende kung anong klaseng utang yan. Okay? Hindi ko po sinasabi yung mga Louis Vuitton. Hindi ko po sinasabi yung mga magagandang kotse. Hindi ko po sinasabi yung mga Gucci na sapatos. Okay? Hindi po yun. Okay? Kailangan po yung magandang utang. Yung tamang utang. Hindi yung pangit na mali. Okay? Ano po ibig sabihin ng magandang utang? Magandang utang po. is uh, anything that will give you a return on investment. Okay? So, palagay nyo na po. Bahay. Magandang utang po yun. Okay? Uh, education for yourself so you can level up your skill. Okay? Ayos po yun because you're investing in yourself. Uh, negosyo. Magandang utang din po yun. Okay? Napakarami po magandang utang dyan. Any kind of investment, you know, na... na calculated. Kahit po mabagal, magandang utang po 'yun. Isipin niyo guys, tayong lahat may trabaho tayo, di ba? Okay, magkano lang kita ng average na tao dito sa Canada? Okay? Palagay niyo ng 2,500 to maybe 4,000 dollars net per month. 'Yun ang average kita ng mga Canadian dito. Okay? Tapos sa perang 'yun, ang dami niyo pang babayaran. Okay? So, rent Food, expenses, miscellaneous, bills, utilities. Pag nabayaran nyo na lahat yun, magkano pa matitira sa inyo para ma-save nyo sa bank account niyo, Okay? Kahit nang isipin nyo, palagay nyo makapag-ipon kayo ng say $10,000 a year. Okay? So, sa 10 taon, that's $100,000. Ang laking pera po yun, di ba? Pero kung isipin nyo, Example lang to, ito nangyari sa amin. Kung umutang kayo sa banko, kunyari ng bahay, okay? yung bahay tinitira nyo. Okay? Kailangan kayo magtira saan, di ba? Hindi naman pwede kayo magtira sa kalsada. You know? So instead na mag-rent kayo, you know, gather up as much resources as you can so you can you know, somehow, someway afford to buy a house. And in 10 years, I guarantee you, you'll make more than 100 grand. <laughs> okay? Tapos tinira nyo pa. You know, you were able to get use out of it, di ba? So, yun pong sinasabi ko. You know, dito po sa Canada, huwag kayong mahiya sa utang dahil yung utang, it will pay off. Okay? Parang, uh, parang hiniram nyo lang. It's like, a, use it like a tool. Okay? Hindi naman po yung katulad ng kabataan ko, ginawa ko. Umutang ako para sa education ko. And instead, what I did, nag-good time, nag time ako. You know, huwag niyo gagawin yun. You know, sinasabi ko lang po, ilagay niyo sa lugar yung utang niyo, tsaka yung uutangin niyo, siguraduhin niyo na merong return on investment. Okay? Dahil, mahirap po talaga makaahon. Okay? Kami po nung misis ko, nang galing kami sa hirap. Nagdang kami sa butas ng karayom. I'm not even joking. Kaya, ito po lahat ng natutunan ko sa journey namin. Okay? 
kung di po kami ng utang, uh, siguro, ganun pa rin po buhay namin. Okay? Uh, medyo isang kain, isang tuka. Okay? And karamihan po ng tao, ganun po ang buhay nila. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? As long as you live an honest life. Pero kung gusto niyo pong makaahon, kailangan po dumiskarte. So, kailangan umutang. <laughs> okay? Because hindi po lahat ng, uh, ng pera na gagamitin ninyo, uh, imposible naman po manggaling lahat yun sa ano sa, sa savings ninyo, di ba? If you are investing in yourself, kunyari, bumalik kayo sa skwelahan so you can uh, level up your education so you can get a better job that pays better money, then yes, that's a return on investment. Magandang utang yun. Siguraduhin nyo lang yung uutangin ninyo sa gobyerno or to whoever para ipasok kayo sa eskwelahan. Yung susualduhin nyo at the end, mas malaki dun sa gagasusin ninyo sa eskwelahan ninyo. Dahil karamihan po ng tao dyan, ng mga bata, lalo na especially, you know, they would spend 50, 60, 70, 80,000 dollars para pumasok sa eskwelahan and yung trabaho na makukuha nila sa 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 course na na kinuha nila only pays 30 40,000 dollars a year that doesn't work out okay so pag-isipan niyo po yun pero kailangan po talaga umutang okay huwag kayong matakot basta huwag niyo gagawin yung ginawa ko nung bata ako okay huwag puro good time iligay natin sa magandang paraan okay yun lang po sinasabi ko so ang dami pong pwedeng pagkakitaan ng utang diyan okay Pwede kayong, uh, like I said, bumili ng bahay. Pwede kayong umutang, magnegosyo kayo, magracket kayo on the side. Okay? May sideline kayo, ponduhan nyo from utang. You know? There's just like anything else in life, wala pong guarantees na it's gonna, it's gonna give you, you know, money in return na magiging successful siya. But at the same time, you know, you're investing in yourself because you tried. Tandaan nyo guys, masarap pong matulog sa gabi knowing the fact na meron pa ko yung cushion na, na savings. Okay? Pero po, mas maganda yung panaginip ninyo. <laughs> Pag alam nyo pong yung cushion nyo, mas makapal. Okay? And dahil po kung gagawin natin yung ginagawa ng lahat, magiging resulta po natin is the same as the result that everybody gets. Pero po, kung makikipagsapalaran kayo, kahit po hindi uh, successful at the beginning, meron po kayong matututunan. And usually, the people that go against the grain, you know, yung pong mga tao nakikipagsapalaran, sila po yung uh, akaangat sa buhay. You know, because they're risking something to do something different that most people are not able to do. So, yung reward po nila is very different and it's greater than what most people are doing, are getting. Basta tandaan niyo po sa buhay, kung gusto niyo po ang resulta ninyo is the same as everybody else, do what everybody else is doing. Pero kung gusto niyo po iba resulta ng buhay ninyo, try doing something different than what everybody else is doing. Yung lola ko po nung buhay siya, sinabi niya sa akin, kahit sa anong lupalop ng mundo, ikaw magtira. Kailangan mo ng tirahan. <laughs> okay? Ibig sabihin, kailangan mo ng bahay. So, if you're able to, uh, so if you're able to get a bahay, okay, however which way you can get it, go get it. Because hindi mo lang titirahan yun. Okay? Babayaran ka pa nun at the because sabi nga niya sa akin, ako wala akong alam pagdating sa mga investments, investments na yan. Wala akong alam pagdating sa mga stock market, stock market na yan. Pero one thing I do know, sabi ng lola ko, yung bahay, ninyiti ang kanyan at the end. Hindi ka lang tutulungan, ninyiti ang ka pa. So natanim po sa utak ko yun. So the first opportunity I got, okay? And however difficult it was, you know, we were able to pull whatever resources that we could to make it happen and make all the sacrifices along the way to make it work. So, 
utang po yun, doon po kami nagkumpisa ni Mises. And from there, going forward, doon po namin naramdaman na medyo umangat po ng konti yung buhay namin. Dahil po sa utang, nalisipin nyo, kung magre-rent lang kami, tapos, you know, aasa lang po kami sa kita namin every two weeks. Hindi po kami makakapag-save ng ganong kalaking amount to do what we needed to do, you know, as far as real estate is concerned. You know? And at the same time po, yung mga courses na kinuha namin along the way, dahil hindi naman po kami nakatapos ng, uh, ng college, you know, hanggang high school lang po kami, you know, we took whatever courses we could to level up our skill because alam namin, you know, malaki po competition out there. So, instead of, uh, you know, spending on Louis Vuitton, <laughs> Instead of spending on Gucci, spend instead of spending on uh, many many uh, crazy things that does not give you a return on investment, you know, naginvest po kami sa sarili namin, lalo na po si Mrs. You know, by taking courses here, there, left and right, you know, just so she can qualify for certain positions that she was applying for. And same with same with me po, you know, so we can level up our skills and uh, level up uh, our pay and our positions, you know. Galing din po sa utang yun. So, tandaan nyo po, lahat ng utang, okay, hindi po kailangan na, uh, don't be afraid. You know, huwag kayong matakot sa lahat ng klaseng utang. Yung ibang klase, yung masamang utang lang po, doon po kayo, mata, doon po kayo mata, matakot. Hindi po sila. So, wag po kayong matakot sa utang. Because, like I said, over and over again in this video, if it's a type of utang that's gonna give you a return on investment, do it. Dahil yun po ang magiging pathway nyo para umunlad. Okay? Pero kung gagawin nyo po, uutang kayo for good time. You know, kunin si Gucci, si Prada, si Louis Vuitton. Okay? If you wanna go get that beautiful car para makapag-flex po kayo sa kapwa tao nyo or whoever, co-worker, whoever. You know, mali po yun. Okay? Lagay natin sa lugar. Because yung utang, pwede nyo pa maging kaibigan yan. Alam ko marami pong magagalit sa akin dyan because, you know, madami po galit sa utang. <laughs> But sa tandaan nyo po, it's the type of utang. Okay? So, and eto lang po, uh, this is based on, on our own personal journey. Kahit wala po kayo natutunan sa video na to, basta nakakuha po kayo kahit na konting entertainment value, masaya na po si Puto. Okay, kung di pa pa kayo nakapag-subscribe sa channel namin, mag-subscribe naman po kayo so we can grow this as big as we can. So yeah, so join me on the next video po. This is Puto Mendoza in Canada. Wishing you good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay hungry, stay humble, keep your hustle strong, guys. I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.